that, why do you think it's not the Shawnee? Well, originally the Shawnee said they never built this site. And so this acquisition is more modern day, but didn't really have serpents in their iconography of religion. Um, we're never really known to be mound builders, so it's a mystery. I, I can send you the quote from Chief Wallace of the Shawnee tribe saying they did not build these mounds. The, the, what's happening now is that with the, with the implementation of NAGPRA, which, which is it's, it's good, the Native American Grave Repatriation Act. And that's, you know, if you find skeletons, if you find remains, if you find uh, artifacts, you know, or, or whatever, that is protected by the federal government and the tribe who's assigned to that region then takes custody of those items. The, the problem with that is that a lot of these mounds, the native people didn't build. We didn't build them. Our ancestors didn't build them. So we are taking responsibility for something that we didn't make. And now the historical narrative is changing. Uh, I mean, think, think about what better way to keep people from going into the mounds or finding, you know, seven, eight, nine foot tall skeletons than to have a standing force of Native Americans on the ground. And they're going to protest and they're going to stop anything like that from happening. But that's interesting that you said that because I, and I'll, I'll send this to you. I'll send you an article from Indian Country Today Media Network, which is the largest and oldest Native American news source in the country. It's been around for, I think, over 40 years. Uh, but she, the Chief Wallace is quoted as saying that they did not build the mounds, that the Shawnee did have, had nothing to do with the mound complex, the Serpent Mound.